All right, what's up, my brothers and sisters? Welcome back to another episode of Chow's Corner of the Universe. Today, I got a special request on my channel. They recently there's been a lot of activities on my Splinterland videos. Looks like the game is actually getting a lot. I like it. I like I like people wanting to play this game and want to wanting to find out more about it. So I appreciate the question, Freak Gamer. In, um, enjoy the cards. And uh, like I said, people who subscribe under me affiliates, sometimes I just drop random cards. And if you ask nicely, I'll send some cards here too. If you're a subscriber, of course. All right, remember subscribe and like. Right? You know the drill. Yeah, this is a very good question. Very, very good question. I don't. I haven't even completely researched on this, but let's go through it together. Um, how do, are the DC rewards determined? What are the factors? Very good question. Okay, I looked it up on the um, Google did using my Google Foo, and here it is. How do you? What are the the factors? Here it is. The variables that determines DC win per, per rank win. So you know, whenever you come here and you say per rank battle, so it depends firmly your league of play. Like if you're bronze, silver. Um, Oh, whatever blah 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 I think when I started bronze it started out really low right if you're bronze you're probably getting about one to three or four maybe five per win um, at gold one um, see what I might what am I getting my rank battle rewards is about 40 that determined that's also determines on the um, dark energy crystal capture rate you should start about 100 but every time you win it goes down a little bit so we're looking at total, and also I didn't know about this, total number battling. So the fewer the player battling, the more, the better reward. So you want to play when less people are playing. So usually off hours, <laughs> we morning times, you know, uh, I didn't know that. That's uh, something to consider. And your capture rate, like we said, it goes down a little bit and it's calculated right here. How it's calculated, it goes down per win. And uh, and we and recuperates um, for some time. Uh, win streak. If you're on a win streak like three, uh, after you win three, you get a little five percent boost when you're going up. Uh, use a gold foil card. So each gold card gives you ten percent bonus, and the alpha and promo cards gives you another ten bonus. So if you say you used a golden um, promo card. That will give you 20% just for doing that. That is why this these cards are very rare. These promo cards, they can, like events. I think this promo cards I got from Chong, when they had the seed, um, uh, germinating the project kind of kind of IOU kind of IOU. So look for uh, Chaos Legion is their next um, expansion. So if they they're gonna do some more promo cards and having those promo cards is pretty nice. Um, yeah, every time you use it, sometimes it's come come by pretty. Sometimes you can, sometimes um, they're pretty useful. Sometimes they're not, um, but most of times um, they're pretty good to use. So that and let's see, and the guild bonus. Now this makes me want to create my guild. You can get up to up to twenty percent. So if you're joining guild, I was looking at some guild. Um. You know, there's some invites only, and I think about joining, creating my guild. Every you need ten thousand, which is about oof, twenty, fifty dollars to create a guild right now. I probably will do it. There's a request on this video. Uh, if you guys want to join my guild, um, yeah, put on some of your usernames. I'll see if, what the interest uh, is. So you get up to twelve percent per guild rewards, and I guess as when you rank up on your guild. So that's something to consider. I like that. Uh, so that makes me want to create my guild. I already have my guild name, uh, kind of thought about it. So yeah, uh, that is the um, the factors in earning your every battle. What is the capture rate? So right now it's 82%. So one another uh, good place to look at it is like, so for example, this win right here, uh, you could, let's see, does this show here? No, you have to replay it on one of your winnings. 
one of the battles I earned some DC on and you can exactly what it, um, where those come from. All right, skip to the end. So at the end screen, all right, before I skip this too fast, right here. So you can hover over this little, little bang, little exclamation point. It'll show you that your capture rate, your win streak, if you had any, if a gold card <clears throat> and or any alpha promo cards and a guild bonus. So there you go. You can usually get, if you're in a guild, wow. So alpha and promo cards, if you use the promo gold card, you get double dip on that. Wow, you can get up to 5%, 20, uh, if you use 5, 6, 60%, another go 60, 100, you can get a, up to 120% <laughs> under perfect conditions. That's pretty cool. Pretty interesting. You have enough gold cards. So, so finding some of these gold cards, if you want to go to the market and uh, buy some of these promo cards, they're pretty, yeah, if you use this card, it'll give you 10%, but this, this guy's kind of, you know, situational. So any of these these cards are good to look for. Another one of the mechanics to play around. Very good question. Thank you, Free Gamer. I appreciate that. So, uh, there you go. That's uh, another trick. What was I? Yeah, let's go. Let's look at this. Let's go open up some packs. Yeah, it's always nice to come. I. How come every time I come here, it won't let me tokenize? But when I when I'm not streaming, it's there. So I I'm earned to two packs from my um, yeah there it is I'm gonna tokenize these two I earned it from my D city uh, event as I told you from my couple of videos ago you basically one of these events if you send them 500 DC every I think it refreshes 48 hours two days you can do it again you get about 2% chance yeah it says it right here you get about 2% chance, 4.5 bonus to entry, and 18% chance to get a gamer card, and a 2% chance to win a pack of dice. So I won about two from over there. This is how you convert it and move it over here so I can open them up. You get it from the Hive Engine, and you say you want to tokenize. Oh, you want to deposit. There you go. Now I'm going to move those two pack over. And I'm actually gonna buy 20 more packs. I've been watching the packs go um, go up and down, and it looks like it's flying off the shelves right now. I think the NFT market plus everything else. There it is, my two dice packs. And I do buy some of these potions. I think the potions are I think worth it. Uh, the quest potions. It gives you five chests per day for each. You know, five additional chests. So for some of the lower levels, this is very nice. If you have enough, uh, getting some of these uh, quests. So every time you complete a quest every day, it gives you five more. It's pretty nice. And uh, having the what other potions, legendary and gold cards, of course, are very nice too. And in the long term, long run, it really works out. If you just do it like a couple of times, you probably don't see any returns. But I've seen actually a lot of uh, more than above average gold cards and legendary cards on my reward chest. So it's pretty nice. <clears throat> so there you go. I'm going to look at the shop and their dice pack. It's about who? All right, there's not that much left. I'm just going to go buy it. Um, I'm going to do the promo 20, just enough. And we're going to open up them um, and uh, look at the the deck because uh, I think it's in about another week all of them are, are gonna be gone all right there's a NFT craze going on right now so I have 23 packs one extra nice let's go open up wow, should I make this another video yeah I'm gonna cut this out, make another video. Actually, oh, this is a nice one. Actually, this is the per the best card to get from this, because there were you can rent them out for a lot, and uh, and you can even uh, the the price. I think when I started looking at it, it was ten dollars. It doubled its price within the last week. 
just because how useful that, that card is. All right, no legendaries. So out of oh, the gold card, nice pattern ram. It's all right. So every time it just automatically uses the gold, gold or the legendary. I like that. Pretty cool. Ooh, see, it does work sometimes, huh? It gives you a little bit more. Now those gold cards, at least, if you get a good one, they're fifty dollars. Uh, low, uh, low from five to ten dollars, and you can rent them out. The gold cards, if it's a promo, well, this is not not gonna be a promo. Mm, that's all right. But uh, yeah, let's go on. Keep opening twenty packs. Opening packs is nice. We're gonna be a little epic. Pretty good. Hope we get a, at least one legendary from this 20 packs. So those packs are running out. Um, it's, it's like minting your cards. And people who are any collectors. Oh, another I'm golden! <clears throat> ah, I need to see how much that is right now. A hundred and... Mm. That that card alone just made back my, the the money that I spent for it two thousand. I spent actually way more than that. Ah, uh, but it's worth is it. so nice. And it's level two already. Hmm. All right, let's go back. That's the joy of opening packs. <clears throat> All right, just a couple of rares. We still got 15 more to go. Not even three quarter way. Mm, nothing there. Come on, I haven't got a legendary yet. What legendary am I looking for? Uh, the two gun teeth. Uh, it's pretty good. Another one. Gold? Nope. Those are pretty good summoner cards. Summoner cards are at, at least three to five bucks right now. Mm. Mesh. Just one legendary will round out this ten packs. But let's not get too greedy. Oh, 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 Hmm. Epona. Okay. I like that. We'll look at it later. Mm-hmm. Got ten more. Halfway there. Mmm, got a rare, that's a summoner, it's pretty good. I wonder what my power rating right now is. Alright. I wasn't a golden. It would have been nice if I get all those summoner cards. Some more golden summoner cards. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. Let's reflect. Level two. Oh man, totally worth it so far. But each of these potions actually, I think. I don't know. Depends on if you buy it in bulk, you get a little bit more. 
I haven't did the calculation on exactly what each potion's uh maybe 50 50 cent to <laughs> all right so every time we yeah, open a pack and we use a charge see we're looking at maybe 10 percent more price ah, another one i like that miler crawling that thing alone is worth the pack. Just the pack itself. Uh oh! Ooh! Is it golden? Yes! Ooh! Golden legendary! Oh man! I'm glad you're, you guys are here to witness that. Oh! Yeah, opening packs are nice. I can't wait for the Chaos Legion. Um, I'm gonna collect, start collecting, saving these DECs. Darkening Crystals. And definitely get some promo cards when it comes out. So, dude. If you're not hooked yet, another one! Is it a golden? No. But it's legendary. It's a 1-1 one, one against your legendary. Okay. That seems like meh-ish. 1 on the second slot. But I think I already got enough of this to cover whatever I got in already. Whatever I put in already. Another golden. The golden summoner. Even better. Alright. That looks pretty good. Let's see what my total power rating. It went up to about it went up sixty thousand, and I spent about sixty thousand. So it basically made back my power. All right, my DC power. So I did not disrupt my total. Uh, Four sixty. Actually, I think I disrupted a little bit. My collection power only went up about eight thousand or ten thousand at most. So my power went down, but anyways, the card themselves made up for it. And uh, there we go. I hope you enjoyed that one. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.